Did an exploding meteor destroy a major city in the Middle East 3,600 years ago? New evidence has been published, which suggests that Tal el Hamam, a city ten times larger than Jerusalem at the time, may have fallen victim to a cosmic air blast similar to the Tunguska event when a 50 to 60 meter wide object exploded over eastern Siberia in 1908. Tal El Hammam in the southern Jordan Valley northeast of the Dead Sea has been a focus of research for archaeologists and biblical scholars for decades. There's a continuous history of culture here, through waves of building, destruction and rebuilding going back to the Chalcolithic or Copper Age. But there's a 1.5 meter deep stratum dating to the Middle Bronze Age, which is unlike anything else along with the usual debris that you'd expect from warfare and earthquakes, the new research has turned up pottery shards whose surfaces have been melted into glass, partially melted building materials, and tiny iron and silica-rich beads, all suggestive of an event in which temperatures exceeded 2,000 degrees Celsius, much hotter than anything the technology of the time could produce. The research team also examined sand grains containing cracks that could form only under intense pressure. Bones were found scattered about, suggestive of people having been literally blown apart, and the city, including the great palace at its heart, was flattened. An airburst from a large meteor exploding miles above the ground could also explain the high levels of salt in the destruction layer as high as 25% in some samples. The salt may have come from material thrown up during the catastrophe and redistributed from the Dead Sea and its shores, which are rich in salt. Making the soil in the region infertile, the sudden influx of salt might explain the so-called Late Bronze Age gap, in which cities in the region were abandoned and the population plummeted from tens of thousands to maybe just a few hundred nomads. Centuries would pass before Tal el Hammam and nearby communities rose again in the Iron Age. This new research adds to an ongoing debate as to whether Tal el Hammam could be the biblical city of Sodom, one of the two cities in the Old Testament said to have been destroyed by God to punish its inhabitants. Salt also enters the story in connection with Lot's wife and there's mention of fire and brimstone falling from the sky, cities burning, and crops being destroyed in what isn't hard to interpret in terms of a cosmic impact event. Does the tale of the destruction of Sodom in Genesis stem from eyewitness accounts of the airburst from an exploding meteor? We simply don't know. But it's quite possible that such an event could have spawned an oral tradition that provided the inspiration for the written account in Genesis. <laughs>